And away from River State, recently, the House of Representatives Committee on National Security and Intelligence has urged the federal government to acquire a new presidential aircraft for the president and the vice president. According to the committee, it is in the best interest of the country to procure two additional aircrafts as recommended. Uh, they also said that this will prove to be most cost e uh, efficient in the long run, apart from the added advantage of providing a suitable, comfortable, and safe career befitting the status and responsibilities of the office of the president and the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All right, and to this effect, the House uh, earlier in May mandated the committee to conduct a comprehensive investigation into the aircraft in the presidential fleet to ascertain their airworthiness and technical status. Well, as soon as this news broke, it received a lot of knock on social media, lots of comments asking if this was actually necessary. And the presidency has come out to react to those comments. Special advisor on information and strategy to the president has reacted to the comment on the proposed purchase of a new presidential jet. He described the purchase of the new jet for the president as a necessity. He added that the proposal was the basic thing any sane government would do. All right, now it goes on and on and on. But lastly, uh, the last paragraph in that statement says, the plane he uses now uh, was bought during former president Olusha Gobasanjo's era, that's over 20 years ago. And uh, it was a very small plane. It developed a problem the last time the president now, that's Tinubu, traveled to Saudi Arabia. And the president had to travel to the UK on a commercial airline. Even those managing the aircraft say the aircraft needed to be replaced. <clears throat> you know, I have said this several days. If you want to see the beauty of democracy, you look at legislative and government. If House of Representatives <clears throat> can be telling the president, now I want to approve, we'll put it forward, the budget will approve it. Go and buy another plane. I don't have business with House of Reps. They say they are representing us. Truly, we can see that they are representing us. There will be inflation though if they buy this one, but if they want to increase uh, the salary of workers, then there will be high, high inflation. I don't have a problem with them. I want to talk to Nigerian president. President Bola Hamed Tinumbu. What these House of Reps, what they are saying. Sir, please don't do it all. Nigeria is going through economic challenges. This is not the right time to do it. It is not only plain that is on your fleet. I know of that one. Please, this is not the time to buy another plane. This is the time to make sure Nigerians get succor. Nigerians are suffering. During this last Idil Hadiyat that we did, I can tell you, every Nigerian that cannot eat and feed themselves, they are just roaming about the streets and looking for where they will see tents. Immediately they see tents, they go there, they sit down. They will tell you, we want to just come and eat. That is how far Nigerians are suffering. Mr. President, if truly you believe in Nigeria and you believe in Nigerians and you want their life to be better, please don't buy another plane. This is not the time to do that. If they have to repair that one again, and it's not only one that you have, use another one. Reduce the entourage if it is too small for your entourage. You reduce the entourage. How to run? You are the only one that we voted for. We didn't vote for all those people around you. Maybe one or two, maybe maximum of 10 special advisors should go with you on every trip. Please, we want to beg you. All they should go and take commercial flight and join you anywhere they want to join you. Please, Mr. President, don't listen to that as of repo. They are only fighting, and there are some certain people that want to benefit from the buying of these new uh, aircraft. Please, don't buy. It. I beg you, Mr. President. Okay. I beg. Thank you for that, Mr. Shukuchi. Um, uh, if you want to buy, because it's a presidential jet, mm -hmm. 
it can't be a seven seater. No. Yes. So because you have Bombardier, you have Gulfstream that are seven seaters, this one would be an executive business jet mm. that can sit at least 20, 30, maybe yes. 40 people because you will go with these people. I checked the price of these things there. Um, you are talking of up to $500 million. Dollars. $500 million. Dollars. <coughs> I quickly did a conversion. That's about 700 billion naira. Almost 1 trillion. So if you take that and add up the money that the legislators spend to Egypt, add up the money for the vice president's residence, add up. Do you know we will hit 1 trillion naira just to buy things? How much was subsidy provision last year for half year? 3 trillion. So the government says that we cannot afford subsidy. It is going to bankrupt the country, right? And then that same Which is three trillion. Three trillion naira. Mm -hmm. That same government now, in the space of one year, has spent the one that has calculated. I'm sure. Okay, I didn't add, add the hatch. Mm. Ninety million. million. Yeah. If you know, if we start adding these things, we're talking at least well over a trillion naira. So how 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 does it add up? I, I think that the president really needs to look inwards. Um, we cannot continue to say sacrifice, 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 but we are on a spend. The, the president and the political office holders are on a spending spree. They are buying things. They are like, it's just like, you know, like a small child that lived an uh, underprivileged life and suddenly found himself in a toy shop. And maybe the father has landed one big contract and the father says, enter, take anything you want. That's how our politicians are behaving. It, it's, it's extremely unbecoming. Uh, the opti optics are terrible. Hmm. The president must understand that Nigerians are truly suffering. Look, people are truly suffering. And when you come and you hear about the things that the president and these people are doing, it, it really makes you angry. And that anger is dangerous. Look, there are at least 10 aircraft in the presidential fleet. President Muhammad Buhari said he was going to sell some. He never did. At least he didn't add. Hmm. Now this new president has come. He wants to buy two. Look, the ten the aircraft you can use an, an an airplane for thirty years, forty years, as long as you just maintain it. C check, B check, all those checks. You there's we don't have a you know a lack of money to maintain properly. So there's nothing they are saying that makes any sense. The president is not in any kind of danger or any risk because all you have to do is maintain that aircraft, send it. You can even do an overhaul, yeah. just overhaul it entirely. Change the engine if you like, like a car. You know, what is the electricals? Change it. Whatever you need to do, take it to Boeing. Let them do a full overhaul. But to say that you're going to spend maybe potentially 500 million, uh, dollars. million dollars, US dollars, to buy a new aircraft in a country where inflation is at 33.95% as a result of your policies, it is insensitive and cruel. The president must, must begin to lead with empathy. This is, is getting too much. And people are hearing these things. Trust me. People in the market are hearing this thing. The anger may blow, it may, it may boil over. President, please be careful, sir. Thank God we are begging the president. And another thing, food inflation. The way food inflation is going, it is very obvious now. If you want to prepare a pot of soup, <laughs> I don't know the number of people in your family. Let's assume you have two kids. You and your wife baking for. Now you cannot use six thousand naira to prepare steam. Then soup because there is difference between steam you and soup. And soup six thousand. Uh -huh. No, no baby <laughs> okay. But when you want to do soup, uh -huh. you want to do soup. <laughs> so you have to go ten thousand, no matter how poor you are, before moving forward. I maybe because I was only at home on the. Uh, Thank God.
mother. I just want to say for life. Of tomato mm. five, five hundred naira. Hey, you man. can't do anything. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. So, like I was saying, now the men are more conversant with what goes on in the market. I know the price of everything. Yes, yeah. on Monday, Mr. Uh, Chief Godly of Oster <laughs> on the table was actually telling me the price of short grain rice and long grain. He now knows the difference between short and long. So it's a good thing coming out of the bad situation. But it is what it is. All right, so the sentiment expressed by my guest at the table is nothing too far from the sentiment expressed on social media on this issue of a new uh, aircraft for the president that is vice president. Nigerians are talking about the timing you know, bringing this to the table, especially at this point in time when the majority of Nigerians can barely feed.